Hey, beautiful people. So we stopped at this precept, um, which is Doctrine and Covenants. Um, forgive me. 133 and 99. All right. So we're going to go to 100. And again, another trump shall sound, which is the third trump. And then shall then come the spirit of men who are to be judged. And they are found under condemnation. And these are the rest of the dead. And they live not again until the thousand years are ended. Neither again until the end of the earth. And another trump shall sound. You know how in the Bible it tells you, in the King James Version, it tells you about the, hunt, the thousand years of rest. And another trump shall sound, which is the fourth trump, saying, There are found among those who are to remain until that great and last day, even the end, who shall remain filthy still. Remember, if, it's, if you're holy, be holy still. If he's filthy, let them be filthy still. Now, Obadiah 1 and 21, And Savior shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau. The saviors that come upon Mount Zion are the 144,000 because they're high priests. They're the ones who's going to be judging the Mount of Esau. And the kingdom shall be the Lord's. Now, Psalms, I mean, Obadiah 1 and 17, But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions because they're going to be brought up there too, right? They're in the good. Doctrine and Covenants 133 and 17. For behold, the Lord has sent forth the angel crying through the midst of heaven saying, Prepare ye the way of the Lord and make his path straight for the hour of his coming is nigh when the Lamb shall stand upon Mount Zion with him a 144,000 having his father's name written in their foreheads. Wherefore, prepare ye for the coming of the bridegroom. Go ye out. Go ye, go ye out to meet him. For behold, he shall stand upon the Mount of Olive and upon the mighty ocean. So it's him. You see in the Bible where it talks one foot on the, on the Mount of Olive and the mighty ocean. Even the great deep upon the islands of, isles of, islands of the sea and upon the land of Zion. Doctrine and Covenants 35 and 20. And a commandment I give unto thee that thou shalt write for him, and the scriptures shall be given, even as they are in my own bosom, to the salvation of my own elect. So who is in his bosom? His elect are the 144,000. They're elected to do something. They're elected to do this work for God. Even as they are in my own bosom, they're in whose bosom? They're in his own bosom, to the salvation of my own elect. Doctrine and covenants. And you're going to go that he says Zion's in his bosom. We'll get there. Um, all right. Doctrine and, um, talking about his own elect. Now, Doctrine and Covenants 29 and 7 to 8. And ye are called to bring to pass the gathering of my elect. For my elect hear my voice and harden not their hearts. So who hears Christ's voice and God's voice and hardens not their heart? The 144,000, they do what God tells them to do. They don't harden their hearts to God. They listen to what God's saying. They listen to Christ when Christ speaks to them. That's why they follow Christ everywhere he goes. And they're guiltless before God. The gathering of my elect from my elect hear my voice and harden not their hearts. They don't harden their hearts. Wherefore the decree has gone forth from the Father that they shall be gathered in one unto one place upon the face of this land which is what land the land of zion to prepare their hearts and be prepared in all things against the day when tribulation and desolation are sent forth up upon the wicked but remember they're redeemed from men that's why they're gathered gathered with him because what they listen to his voice and they don't harden their hearts now moses 7 and 31 and thou hast taken zion into thy own bosom from all thy creation, Zion is one of the 144,000. God's elect. That's why she's called the elect lady. We'll read the scripture. From all eternity to all eternity and not but peace, justice, and truth is the habitation of thy throne. And mercy shall go before thy face and have no end. How is it thou kins weep? That's what he's saying to Zion. How are you going to weep when you have peace, justice, truth, and have is the habitation of your throne? And mercy shall go before your face and have no end. How is it that thou weep, Zion? 
just tell them they're don't cry. Look what she has, right? So now we're going to go to Doctrine and Covenants. That's why it says in Doctrine and Covenants 35 and 20. And a commandment I give unto thee that thou shalt write for them, and the scriptures shall be given, even as they are in my own bosom, to the salvation of my own elect. Who, un, who, who knows the scriptures? The 144,000. Who did Christ give understanding of the scriptures? The 144,000. That's why they're made high priests. Doctrine and Covenants 38 and 4. And I am the same which have taken Zion of Enoch into my own bosom. And verily I say, even as many as have believed in my name. So Christ will take those who have believed in his name in his bosom. For I am Christ and in my own name by the virtue of the blood which I spilt have I pleaded before the Father for them. Who did he, he, he pleaded for all? Now in 2 John 1 and 1, the second book of John verse 1 and 1. The elder unto the elect lady and her children. You see the precious sons of Zion compared to, comparable to fine gold. That is talking about daughter Zion's sons. That's why it says the elect lady and her children, whom I love in truth, and not I only, but also all they that have known the truth. And that's why God says to her, I will save thy children, and I will oppress those who oppress thee, and they shall be eat their own flesh and be drunken with their own blood as sweet wine. God is talking about what God is going to do to daughter Zion's enemies for what they did to her sons. He says the precious sons of Zion compared to comparable to fine gold. Isn't daughter Zion in her rock gold armor? That is why she's talked about in rock in gold garments and her sons are comparable to fine gold because their mom wears a rock gold armor. That's why John says the elder unto the elect lady and her children whom I love in the truth and not I only but also they who have known the truth. Now Isaiah 47 and 5, sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shall no more be called lady of kingdoms. Why? Because daughter Zion is the elect lady, the elder unto the elect lady and her children. And that's why God says to her, you will make your children princes all over the you uh, you will make your sons pr your your sons princes all over the earth he was talking to her if she's a queen and she has sons and who do you think god was talking to and he does he knows that a lot of women think these scriptures are about them when they're not he's actually talking to daughter zion and when he's talking to daughters of Zion, there's a difference. Doctrine and Covenants 45 and 46. Wherefore, if you have slept in peace, blessed are you. For as you need, as you now behold me and know that I am, even so shall you come unto me and your souls shall cleave and your redemption shall be perfected. And the saints shall come forth from the four corners of the earth. And then shall the arm of the Lord fall upon the nations. Who's the arm of the Lord? Daughter Zion. Doctrine and covenants 35 and 24. Keep all the commandments and covenants by which you are bound. And I will cause the heavens to shake for your good. And Satan shall tremble and Zion shall rejoice upon the hills and flourish. Rejoice, O daughter of Zion. Get thee up into the high mountains. And Israel shall be saved in my own due time. Remember the children of Israel are, what does he just tell you about the children of Israel? And, the, and Israel shall be saved in my own due time. And by the keys which I have given shall they be led and no more be confounded at all. Confounded is confusion. They're confused with these scriptures because they don't ask God. They lean on their own understanding. Lift up your hearts and be glad. Your redemption draws nigh. That's God talking to the children of Israel. Lift up your hearts and be glad. Your redemption draws nigh. Fear not, little flock. The kingdom is yours until I come. Behold, I come quickly. Even so, amen. Isaiah 28 and 16. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, 
a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believes shall not make haste. Psalms 118 and 22, the stone which the builder refuses become the headstone of the corner. They refuse daughter Zion. She's become the headstone of the corner, the queen. Now, that's the end of this video. And the next video next is this, what God wants me to explain to you. God's peculiar treasure is not all nations, but one nation.